we are actually in the Sabbath. It is, or it was 1222. And it is November the 2nd, 2024. And the title of this message is, You Can Get Back Up. In Proverbs 24, 16, it says, For a righteous man falls seven times and rises again, but the wicked are overthrown by calamity. What's so significant about this is that it gives hope, but it gives a wise warning as well. The hope is that although you may fall, you can get back up. The hope is the the hope is that you may fall several times, but you can get back up. But the warning is that in your wickedness, in your disobedience, in your wretchedness. In your evil doing, you will be thrown to calamity. In your wickedness, in your wretchedness, in your evil doing, there is a good chance that you will not get back up. So don't take the risk. Don't play with it. Take comfort in knowing that in your righteousness, Although you fall, you can still get back up. But take warning in knowing that in your wickedness, there may not be a second chance. There may not be another try. Yes, you can get back up, but aim for righteousness. Yes, even in your righteousness, you may fall. But better to fall in your righteousness than to fall in your wickedness. The message is you can get back up, but better to fall in righteousness than to fall in your wickedness. We all make mistakes, but there is a difference between not knowing a thing. There is a difference in being ignorant to something versus willfully sinning versus willfully running to chaos. Many of us are not strangers to either one. Many of us are not strangers to willfully sinning. Many of us are not strangers to making mistakes. Sincerely not knowing a thing, feeling guilty, feeling terrible, feeling sorrowful over those mistakes. And thank God that our Father, that our Creator redeems us. That our Father, that our Creator forgives us. That our Father, that our Creator shows us grace. You can get back up. The funny thing is, ever since I was a little girl, literally, I have had a habit of falling. My earliest memory was maybe when I was two or three. I was visiting on my paternal grandparents side and I fell I don't remember how I fell I just remember I fell and I busted my chin and to this day if you look carefully you can still see the little scar on my chin um I remember my childhood home that I lived in for over 10 years we had these wooden steps and if anyone knows growing up I guess in the 90s and early 2000s um you had the wooden steps that had like the little gold plates at the end of the steps I don't know why they were loud they were noisy I don't know what the point of them were but they were there so many times I fell down those steps so many times I fell on those steps so many times to the point where to this day I still have knots on my head from falling down those steps Many of us have fallen in many phases in our lives. 
some of us are in a falling place at the moment. But I'm here to let you know that you can get back up. I'm here to let you know that you can get back up. But I am here to encourage you. I am here to implore you to remain in righteousness when you do get back up. I am here to encourage you. I am here to implore you that when you get back up, make sure that you avoid those things that made you fall last time. Make sure not to run back to those things that made you fall last time. Yes, you can get back up. But the goal is to stay up. There's no guarantee that you won't fall again. But the thing about lessons is we're supposed to learn a lesson, move to the next level, and learn a different lesson. Some of us are learning the same lesson over and over again. Some of us are falling over and over again because there are certain lessons that we haven't learned. Some of us continue to fall because there's one particular or a handful of particular lessons that we either re refuse to learn or we refuse to let go of the thing that's preventing us from learning that lesson and elevating and passing the test. You can get back up. You can get back up. But make it your mission to stay up. You can get back up. But make it your mission not to go back. Get up. And continue to elevate. You can get back up. The Most High wants you to stay up. The Most High wants you to continue to climb. The Most High wants you to ascend. The Most High wants you to reach higher. The Most High wants you to kill the lower parts of yourself. The Most High wants you to kill the dark parts of yourself. The Most High wants you to kill those parts of your flesh that want to kill the light of your soul. You can get back up. For a righteous man falls seven times and rises again, but the wicked are overthrown by calamity. Some of us have been overthrown by calamity. Some of us have been the workers of calamity. Some of us have been the workers of iniquity. Are you going to get back up? Are you going to get off the fence? Are you going to make sure not to fall again? Or at the very least, not to fall for those same tricks? Not to fall for those same devices? Not to fall for those same woes as you did last time? Are you ready, are you ready to elevate? Are you ready to rise? Are you ready to be a light in the darkness? You can get back up. Are you ready to stay up this time? Are you ready to pull others up through your walk? Are you ready to be an example to show others that you can get back up and you can stay up? Are you ready to walk? Are you ready to get back up and walk? Are you ready to get back up and run to your purpose? Are you ready to get back up and run to the promise? Are you ready to get back up and run? to the arms of the Most High, to run down that road that they say is straight and narrow? Are you ready to run down the road that is straight and narrow once you get back up? You can get back up. The question is, are you ready? <laughs>